leaves can be granted to employees on a monthly, quarterly, half yearly or annual basis. In this video, we will learn how to grant leave manually for your employees as per the defined leave policy from your great HR application. This option can also be used if you would like to grant leaves for your employees on a prorated basis such as the date of joining, confirmation date, also based on months in service. So let's learn how the leave grant feature works on Great HR. From your admin portal, in the search action search box, enter grant leave. Select grant for all employees, it ideally means that grant for all the eligible employees as per your current leave policy. Select the periodicity as monthly. Periodicity is nothing but the leave granting frequency, this can be monthly, quarterly, half yearly and annually. Select the period as April 2023, then select the leave scheme. If you have multiple leave schemes in your organization, you need to do the same procedure by selecting the other leave schemes as well. Now, you can see the leave types listed in the below table. These are the leave types currently available in your organization under this leave scheme as monthly granting frequency. Select the leave type. You can also select multiple leave types from the list. Click on grant. The selected leave type has been granted. Now, on this page, you can see the batch created. From the list, you can manually select and delete the grant for an employee. Now, to grant leave for the new employees, click grant leave, then select grant for newly joined employee option. As mentioned earlier, this option can also be used if you would like to grant leave for employees on a prorated basis based on the date of joining, confirmation date, also based on months in service. For example, if the employees are eligible to get one day of casual leave per month and you have already granted the leave for the period maybe on the first of the month for all your employees, now any employees who have joined after the date will not be granted leaves for the month even though they are eligible based on the prorated basis. So, to grant leave to those employees in the same month based on a prorated basis, you should always choose the option grant for newly joined employees and follow the same procedure to grant leave. The same concept will work to grant leave for the employees who are newly confirmed, also based on the months in service. I hope you can now be able to grant leaves manually for your employees. With that, we come to an end. Please like and subscribe to this channel for updates about our upcoming videos.